In this video, I'll attempt to demonstrate how a pilot can safely determine whether it's possible to land straight ahead in the event of a loss of thrust immediately after takeoff. In this scenario, the engine failure occurs over the departure end of runway 23 at Craig Airport here in Jacksonville, Florida. I'm trying to see whether it would be possible to land my Cessna 150 straight ahead in the 2,000-foot grass infield before reaching the airport boundary fence if I cross the departure end at 200 feet AGL. Craig Tower, in this information, Julia, Hi. time 1453, Zulu wind 21013, gust 21, visibility 10, sky clear, temperature 22.12, altimeter 3009 air, visual approach runway 23 in use. VFR aircraft, advise ground direction of flight, any aircraft north by remain outside of class, try the airspace for contact, Jackson 124.9 air. National aircraft, IG notams in effect for Craig Airport for further information, contact flight service frequencies. Advise initial contact information, Julia. Craig Ground, good morning, Cessna 3370, Victor at the Jet Center, ready to taxi, staying in the pattern, Juliet. 3370, Victor, Craig Ground, taxi via Alpha, hold short, Alpha 4. Alpha, hold short of Alpha 4, 70, Victor. Craig Tower, Cessna 3370, Victor, holding short 23 at Charlie with request. 3370, Victor, Craig Tower, hold short of only 23 at Charlie, say request. Yes, sir, making a little training video. I'll wait if I have to, but I'd like to back taxi for a full length on 23. 70 Victor, Roger. Just continue along short of runway 23 at Charlie, and uh, I'll get you out there as soon as I get these two guys on the ground. Thanks so much. 70 Victor, holding short. So 33 70 Victor, Craig Tower, cross runway, uh, or actually runway 23 full length, perfect takeoff. Make right close traffic, port midfield down with each pass, landing attentions, following the Skyhawk and the right cross one. All right, clear for takeoff runway 23. We'll back taxi for full length and make right traffic. 33 70 Victor. All right, so here we want to see how much additional altitude we gain at the departure end if we do this. Now, normally we don't do this because it doesn't quite work out with the traffic flow here at Craig, but pretty light here this morning. So we're going to go all the way to the end, spin it around and get every inch of this runway we can. Worth noting that we've got a 15 to 20 knot headwind departing on runway 23 today, so that's going to significantly improve our performance in terms of the altitude we reach over the departure end. Not much of a crosswind. All right, you ready, Alex? Uh-huh. Okay, here we go. All right, engine instruments look good. Airspeed's coming alive. All right, so I'm climbing at my best rate of climb today, getting about 500 feet a minute. We're at 100 feet. Two, three, clear touch and go. Seven, two, Victor. Seven, two, Victor. Seven, Four hundred feet crossing the departure end. That's amazing. So we get so much additional altitude doing it that way. And now I'm just crossing the airport boundary fence now at five hundred feet. Where I could turn back to the runway if I had to. That's good news. If I couldn't make it back to the runway, two ninety five is my bailout. All right, we'll go ahead and make right traffic. Victor, you can start that base turn now. One Cirrus departing at runway 23. Cleared touch, uh, correction, clear to land. All right, we've got the Cirrus in sight. Clear to land 23. 7 zero, Victor. All right, so I'm going to stay uh, a little high one, here. One, one, what turn? What left or right to 010? Right zero, turn to 010, zero, zero, please. 41 Lima Golf, turn right hitting at 010. Zero, right turn. Okay. 
Yeah, what we're going to do intentionally is come in a little bit high. I'm going to aim to be 200 feet right over the tree line. And if I pull the throttle to idle there, I want to see where I touch down on the runway. And we're going to measure how much runway we used. The distance from the tree line to the runway is about a thousand feet, and then it's another thousand feet to the thousand foot marker as shown in this picture. So that is roughly the same distance as the grass infield off the departure end. The left 360 there, right. there is uh, serious traffic there There's behind you feet. on a zero one zero heading climbing out of a thousand feet. All right, you're the left 360. All right, power to idle. Quick tower, clear in track two zero two ten miles from the north inbound full stop with information Juliet. Correct tower, bucket 313, five to the north. Bucket 313, uh, just report a uh, left base, or correction, a right base from a T3. Seven to the Victor, you got that serious traffic? All right, now we came to a stop right at the 1,000 foot mark. 3370 Victor, right turn Bravo uh, 4, hold short of Bravo, ground point 8. Bravo 4, hold short of Bravo, go to ground 70. So two comments on my approach there. Number one, I didn't quite get to full flaps. And number two, I didn't use full braking. I could have stopped a lot shorter if I did both of those things. So I'm hoping he'll get me out after the second Cessna. Roger, Cessna Roger, you are number four now, runway 23, clear to land. Number four, 23, clear to land, how's it with you? I'm going to be prepared to go after this guy who's on short final right now, right over here. Tell you, Victor, can you take no delay? Hey, firm. Tell you, Victor, no delay. Extend the up in three miles right traffic runway two three. Clear for takeoff. Clear for takeoff two three. No delay. So two. And one Delta Mika one sneak and one departure up prior to your arrival. One departure prior to our arrival three nine one Delta. Bucky six eighty one tire. Bucky six eighty one. Are you on the visual approach? I thought you were on the circle. I'm sorry. All right, so here we're starting I'm our takeoff roll approach, pretty much right at the number. Yeah. If you just reduce that speed as much as you can for me and then uh, start a slow left base turn. You're number four for the airport right Air now. Airspeed's alive. Traffic team when you get closer. Everything looks good. Okay, he's slowing down and uh, staying up base uh, for two, three, about 61. We're off the ground right about 600 feet. Everything looks good. There's 100. There's 200 feet. We're getting good rate of climb today. There's 300 feet. And we're crossing the departure end of the runway right about 400 feet. All right, Buggy 681, you're number three now, following the Cessna on the right base, report them in sight. So even with the departure okay, on Taxiway to Charlie uh, today with that <laughs> headwind and good climb performance, we're doing pretty good. We're just crossing the airport boundary right, fence at 500. An important consideration here is that my daughter and I, even with full fuel, are well below max gross weight. Two big guys in this airplane at max gross weight on a hot day are going to get much poorer performance than we did today. All right, so we're going to do the same approach this time just to see what we get. We're going to come in over the tree line at 200 feet and see what's the shortest approach we can make with full flaps. And again, we got a pretty decent headwind today, so that's definitely in our favor. Seven zero, Victor, kind of landing you on. Seven zero, Victor, this will be a full stop, and we have the Skyhawk on the base inside. Seven zero, Victor, number two, runway two three, clear land. Clear to land 23, number 270, Victor. 912, right, so Victor, Victor, correct. Let's try and get down to 200 like to, feet uh, here. Get a full stop landing, and we got information, Juliet. We're currently about uh, nine miles to the south, east of the field. Three Mike Alpha, turn, uh, turn a left, uh, make a left turn into the left lane. Uh, left turn into the left lane. All right, so here Mike we go. Alpha. Throttle's coming to idle. Do you mean downwind for Three Mike Alpha? Yeah, I mean the downwind, sorry. Sorry, you got about 30, rolled out that 360. Here comes flaps. Morning Tower, King Air 969, Lima Delta, visual 2-3. King Air 969, Lima Delta, Craig Tower, needs to reduce your speed. You're number three, you fall in the Cessna, doing 80 knots on about a two-mile final. And we'll slow it down. All right, so that's time we stopped in a much shorter, much shorter distance. 30, but I'm going to keep it rolling so I don't plug up traffic here. But you can see we got... Um,
We got down and would have been well stopped by 500 feet down the runway. So, pretty good. For two, Victor, Victor, enter a midfield.